for calling General Mills. Yes, this is General Mills. Yes, how may I generally help you, sir? Yeah, I was out shopping for your blueberry pomegranate cereal. You know, uh, total, the total blueberry pomegranate cereal? Yes, sir, total blueberry pomegranate cereal, yes, sir. That's right, I was reading the ingredients list, and uh, I noticed that there's no blueberries in the ingredients list, and there's no, there's no blueberries, and there's no pomegranates in the cereal either. Okay, sir, so you're saying there's no blueberries in the cereal, then, is that it, sir? That's right, there's no blueberries in the blueberry cereal. How is that our problem, sir? Our cereals are labeled in accordance with federal law. Well, I thought that if it's called blueberry pomegranate cereal, then maybe there's going to be uh, blueberries and pomegranates in the cereal. No, no, sir, that's not correct. It's only a name. It's named Total Blueberry Pomegranate Cereal, but that does not mean it contains blueberries and pomegranates. It doesn't? No, sir. You, you might have tires on a vehicle named Firestone. It doesn't mean they contain fire. Well, what does it mean then when it says blueberry pomegranate? Well, sir, it means that we hope you imagine blueberries and pomegranates when you're eating our cereal. Well, what if I don't have a very good imagination then? Well, sir, that's what the artificial color is for, to help you along. To present the illusion of blueberries and pomegranates. To kind of nudge along unimaginative consumers, you see? So I'm supposed to imagine that I'm eating blueberries and pomegranates when I'm eating your cereal, even though they contain no blueberries and pomegranates? Yes, sir, that's what we all do. We imagine we're eating highly nutritious, delicious blueberry pomegranate cereal. That's why we call it Total. It requires your total imagination and focus to achieve the illusion. But what if I want to eat blueberries and pomegranates in my cereal? Well, sir, then you should purchase them like everyone else and put them in a cereal yourself. But I thought you put them in the cereal. That's why I bought total blueberry pomegranate cereal. No, sir, we don't put blueberries in the cereal and there's no fire in your tires. We've already covered this. I want my money back. He wants his money back. Yes, I want my money back. Did you eat any of the cereal? I only ate the blueberries. Well, sir, if you've eaten the blueberries, we cannot give you your money back because you've used the product. But there are no blueberries in total blueberry pomegranate. I've only used my imagination. Yes, sir, but that's what we're selling, you see. If you've used your imagination, you've used the product. But I haven't even opened the product. Well, I imagine you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, no, I haven't. Yes, yes, you have. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes, no, yes, no, you have. No, I haven't. Sir, you're being unreasonable. I just want my money back for the cereal I didn't eat that I bought for the blueberries it doesn't have. Well, now you're just being difficult. But I tell you what. I'll imagine that I'll mail you a refund check in seven to ten days. You're going to mail me a refund check? I imagine I will. Are you really mailing me a refund check or are you just imagining that you're mailing me a refund check? I'm saying that I will mail you a refund check for the total amount minus the imagination portion you've already used. What's the total? That's the cereal. No, I mean how much is the check for? It's for all of it. All of what? All of the refund check that I imagine General Mills will be sending you. But when I get the refund check, what will it say? It will say this is for the total. And how much is that? How much did you pay for the cereal, sir? Four dollars and seventy-five cents. All right then, now given that 80% of what we're selling in total blueberry pomegranate cereal is imagination, and you've already used the imagination portion, we shall be refunding you, let's see, 95 cents. 95 cents? Yes, sir. And will you take it as a coupon? What's it good on? Any General Mills product whatsoever. Use your imagination.